Hello and welcome to the third and final part of our climbing ledge tutorial. In the previous parts we've set up our character to de detect ledges sorry, and go into an animation pose when they found one. So here's an example, there we go. So the next task is to make them actually climb up, up onto the ledge as well as be able to drop down based on key inputs. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make sure our animation is using root motion. Now root motion is when you let the animation drive the motion of the capsule rather than the capsule driving the animation. So go into your hang to crouch fixed animation and on the left hand side you'll find the option to enable root motion. Tick that and you should see the character look like it's standing in place which is correct. Hit save and close that. We then want to go to the animation blueprint of our mannequin. So I'm going to go to animation blueprint and on the right hand side in the class default settings you'll find root motion mode. Just change that to root motion from everything. And that will now read the root motion from our animation. Close this and we can go back to our player character. In here we're going to make a custom event. Custom event and we're going to call it climb up and we make another one called drop down. So another custom event, drop down, and there you go. We then go into create a new input to handle this climb up and drop down. So we go to edit, project settings, and go into my input settings. In here, we have an axis mappings and action mappings. Currently, move forward and move right already exist on axis mappings. However, we're going to create our own custom action mappings which use the same keys. Now the benefit of that is that we can detect when we want to hit the press. Because action mappings only happen when you press the key. Whereas axis mappings are always happening. So let's hit new action mapping. And we'll call this one climb up. And this is going to use the W key on the keyboard. As well as the gamepad left thumbstick up. We're going to make another action mapping and we're going to do drop down and this will be using S on the keyboard and left thumbstick down. Okay, uh, and that will do for that. Close that, go back to your uh, player character and in here we're going to set up the inputs for these two custom events. So right click and look for your climb up event and you want the climb up action event and that refers to the input on the keyboard. We also want to drop down as well so drop down action event like so. So when we call drop down we want to call our drop down function which is down here. So I'm going to call from pressed and just call the drop down function. However, I only want to do this if we are actually climbing. So before we do this, we're going to put in a branch. So branch into the pressed and true into drop down. And we only want to do this if climbing is true. So drag climbing out, choose get and plug that in to the branch. So now we'll only test the drop down if we're climbing. So let's go over to the drop down function. And in here, we're going to do three things. We're going to take out is climbing variable set that to false we're then going to drag out our character movement here and change the movement mode to falling and then we're going to uh, tell it to stop the animation montage so right click and do stop montage and you want to choose your hang to crouch fixed montage Hit compile and let's test this out. Hit play and I go hang off a ledge. And if I hit S on my keyboard, I'll drop down off the ledge. Do that again. S, drop down. Excellent. So next we've got to climb up. So go into the character's code again. And this time we're doing climb up. So let's take a look at that up here. So when we climb up, we're going to take it to play the animation again. So we're going to drag the mesh out 
and do play montage and you're going to choose from the drop down your I'm going to crouch fixed montage leave the play rate as one and for that we're actually going to make a notify to do what we want it to do so on notify begin is where we're going to drag out of here and tell it to stop climbing so do is climbing here and do set to false notify begin and also in the end of that do our uh, character movement and movement mode and set that to walking so then we want to go up to our climb up input action and on here we're going to make it check first of all whether we're climbing or not similar to what we've done in the drop down and so I only do this if we are currently climbing and if we push true we're going to call that climbing event so climb up function we will take the climb up hit compile and close that now as I said there's a notify we'll come back to that in a moment but first of all let's just add it in so in the notify I'm just going to add it in to about frame let's say frame 35 so a notify track here we're going to add a new notify by right clicking add notify and montage notify we can leave it as is just hit save and you're done here we'll explain about that in a second so now if i push play and test this out and push up once on my keyboard i climb up however there's a slight issue if I was to push up again whilst climbing, I can spam it and it will look like this, which obviously isn't correct. Because it's taking advantage of that root motion, the root motion is driving the character up into the air. So what we want to do is once we've hit the key to climb up, we don't want it to do anything until it's finished that climb. Hence why we have that notify. So we're going to go back into the code here. Uh, where is it? It is here. And on the climb up input action, we're going to put a do once in. So pressed do once. And the reset for this is going to be another custom event. I'm going to call this one finished climbing. Okay, hit compile and we're done there so now we just need to call our finished climbing so the finished climbing we're going to put on the end of our set movement mode here so drag or right click in here uh, finished climbing and plug that in hit compile and let's see how that looks so now I can't spam anything I want okay so I push up and however, you see a slight issue in that that do once is being triggered even though I'm walking around. That's because I'm using W to move as well. So that do once is being triggered way too early. So that's my fault. It should actually be after our branch. So let's put that in after our branch. Plug that in there. Finished into reset completed into climb up so now if I were to test that out hopefully it should work now there you go climbs up and if I try and spam it it won't work okay there you go so currently if I were to climb up and push just W once don't do nothing you can see the slight issue where I'm just hovering in midair so obviously that's not ideal it looks kind of janky so let's make it so it forces the capsule forward a little bit so on the notify for the montage here we're going to do that move cap, uh, component 2 function again so on notify begin move component 2 and the component we're going to be moving is the capsule again so drag the capsule out and the place we're going to move it to is just in front of where it currently is so the target location is going to come from the capsule components current world location to so get world location plus you also want to get 
where they're currently facing. So we want to get actor forward vector. And we want to multiply that by how far away we want to push them forwards. So I'm going to multiply that by 50. And I'm going to add these two together. And if I put that into target location, that's now done. Next, we want to put in the rotation because we don't want it to be zero, zero, zero. So we're going to just get the forward vector here and just drag out and do get, uh, or not get, uh, make rot from X. And that goes into your target relative rotation. Tick ease in and ease out. Hit compile. And now let's see how that looks. That 50 unit number may be changeable based on your own needs. Uh, you just tweak it till you get what you want. So see how that looks. That's a bit better. And there you go. And there you have it. That is a climbing ledge tutorial. Now there's lots more you could do with this. For example, when you go into hang mode, you could add in the ability to shimmy left and right, uh, whatever else you want to do. Maybe just leap off backwards off of it. But say, the world's your oyster. If you want to see more videos about ledge climbing and ledge uh, movement, please leave a comment below. Uh, I'd be interested to see the interest there is available for it. Big thank you to all my patrons for their continued support and for voting for this series. Uh, it, all this wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you again so, so much. Other than that, thank you. make, you, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.